What does Janine think is in that box, Caleb? I don't know, but she's testing divergence. Searching for the one who can open it. Find them. Every last one of them. 20 years down the line, some of these kids, our kids and our grandkids, they're going to look back on this period right here, Martin. Mm -hmm. And they're going to sit back and say, damn, y'all should have hate teenagers, man. <laughs> right. <laughs> what, 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 what were we so worked up about? What, yeah. were we, what were we scared of? Yeah, it's like, it's like man, y'all hate teenagers so much, y'all putting out movies every other week about them killing each other. Mm -hmm. Like, what the fuck with teenagers? What were y'all scared of? And you know, it's... Well, apparently, they're, they're scared of being labeled. Because everything is, everything is all about like, oh, well, you're this type. And you're this type. I am not one type. You can't, you can't faction me. You can't district me. You can't sort me in the sorting hat. You know what? But we can make you motherfuckers destroy each other. <laughs> it's like every week we got a movie coming out about some apocalypse where the kids are just trying to survive and the adults are assholes. I mean, yeah. They're coming, they're coming out so much now that, it, that they're starting. If you ask me, they're starting to blend. Now, some people would say, ah, well, you know what? We've crossed that line where is, it is officially called a genre. It's a genre in itself. Yeah, yeah. You, it's, not, it's not so much it's a repeat. It's just that elements are in place to say that this is what it is. And I say bullshit on <laughs> Thank <that>. you. <laughs> no, don't pull that. Don't try to sound smart with that shit. No, you're making the same shit over and over again. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. We see disaster movies, horror films, action films, romantic comedies. All of those repeat sometimes. So, wait, hey, what's wrong with the... The, a teenage apocalypse, adults are assholes type genre, man. It might be all right. And let's, you know, some people say, hey, it was a little light, but that first divergent, it was okay. Yeah, and it's, it, a, it's okay, it, I guess. It was okay. And it was enough for them to say, hey, you know what? We made enough money to where we're going to make a second one, whether you like it or not. Yeah. There's, and, um, there's, I don't know how many books there are, if there's three or four. Enough for them to make probably five more movies if they yeah, want to. True. And they probably will. <clears throat> because this movie is. is uh, it is predicted to open big, but just because it opens big doesn't mean that it's any good. And you know, we'll tell you straight up if it's bullshit. And you, we're always full of surprises, too, so you never know. We're fair people. And even though I wasn't crazy about the first one, I'm willing to give this one a chance. And I'm giving it so much of a chance, I can't even remember what happened in the first one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny how often with, with these kind of things, they give you like a quick refresher. And not this time. Not this time. And <clears throat> with this one, I'm looking at this. I had to go just look up the synopsis on this and and I had to just kind of remind myself. I mean, even watching this one, I was kind of lost and I had to just go and look and see what this is about. What I got from this is just that, what's her name? Uh, Kate Winslet. Kate Winslet, she's that bitch from the first movie. Janine. Janine. She's the one that said, you know what? I got the future down. All we got to do is split everything into factions and say, hey, this faction is better than that faction. Everybody will know their place and we won't have that disaster that happened before. Now, that was until Triss and Ford came up and just fucked her system all up. <laughs> and they said, yeah, you know, we gave her a big screw you, but maybe we should just run now. And now they find themselves fugitives. And they go to the outskirts of uh, the ruined Chicago city and they're trying to get allies. But with the other factions being told the propaganda that these two people yeah, they're criminals. And then you also have what they call the factionalists and the factionalist, the factionalist people. They're saying, yeah, I remember you. You were the one talking all that shit saying you better than me because you in a faction. You know, fuck you. Oh, so you know what? <laughs> this whole thing of, man, we got to get an alliance and form an army and fight and fight uh, 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 Janine. And that's going to be that's going to be a little harder than we thought. Uh -huh. And these movies, man. I got to tell you something. I, I'm when I say that these movies are becoming a genre and they're blending into each other. Here's the problem right now. This, if you want to call it a genre, man, that's that's still fresh. You know what I'm saying? It's still it's still new. Mm -hmm. It's still you know you still that 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 genre is still in diapers and shitting on itself. Right. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to do it that call it that way. All right. All right. So you and they come and they're coming out. It's very small. This pool of genre, if you want to call it that. And and they come out so close to one another that between Hunger Games, Maze Runner, and this. The Giver. The get the Giver. I'm beginning to not really tell the difference anymore, man. Well, the, you know what? The, the big problem is that uh, these movies 
um, they aren't distinguishing themselves from each other. I mean, like, like Hunger Games is the model. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And rather than going like, all right, well, we're going to show how we different than Hunger Games. They're like, well, we want to get a piece of that Hunger Games money. So make it look like that. Yeah. And even these, are these writers doing the same thing? Are they, is, is it so easy to publish a book now when you just rip off something else that's popular? Is that how money hungry the print industry is? Because I'm looking at all this shit. I haven't read any of these books. But when I watch these movies, I see the same thing. All these kids wearing the same clothes. Yeah. All these kids wearing these old nasty brown and green clothes. And meanwhile, you get the adults, the asshole adults. They're the ones that wear the colors. They're the, one that, they're the ones that get to shop at Nordstrom. Look at, <laughs> look at Donald Sutherland like that. He's like, hey, hey, look at my shit. Look at my shit. They, they, they keep coming back to the, like, we don't want to be typecast. And the adults ruined everything for us. We, we don't have a future because the adults fucked it up. Yeah. It's y'all's fault. Yeah. And I, I would just say to these kids, hey, guess what? We said that about the generation before us. So <laughs> yeah. don't don't be too critical because your time will come too. Yeah, yeah. Donald Sutherland talking about fuck a baby gap. We got old people <laughs> gap, and that's all. <laughs> Adult he, gap. He is styling. You got to give him that. He's like, shit, ain't, you know who's at the mall now? Ain't no teenagers ain't at the mall no more. Ain't nothing but old people. <laughs> <laughs> Eating that cold stone at Chick Fil A. <laughs> Fuck y'all. <laughs> you know, it's it's all the kids. The kids get dish rags and, and potato sacks. I, I like Auntie Annie's pretzels too. Yeah, <laughs> shit. Fuck y'all. And you know, and that's the other thing. It's always a group of kids. Now the leader's always gonna be white, but the, they're gonna pepper the background with some sure. black people and some Asians, and they're sure. gonna get the darkest blacks they can find. So that you know, hey, yeah, we got black people too. Mm -hmm. That's what they do. Is that what you? That's what, is that your commentary on Mackay Pfeiffer? <laughs> that in he's, this movie, he's the blackest people you know. <laughs> they do that in this movie too, man. And it's always got to be some love interest in there. No, they, I, I mean they're why the young adult novels. So there's always some kind of at least the ones that I've seen. And you, like you, I mean they do it in every one of them. You see it here in this in this movie. Uh, four played by uh, what's his good Theo James and Sh and uh, and Shailene Woodley. Shailene Woodley right here, uh, who plays Tris. They're the love uh, couple right here. Damn, uh, Theo James is looking like y'all are some of the biggest cocksuckers. I cock I'm a cock blockers, man. You yeah. cock blocking motherfuckers, man. <laughs> yeah, right. I was just about to hit home base, and y'all. <laughs> look at that picture right now where he's got her, and they, he's surrounded by guns, and he's it, looking like God he damn. Look, he looks like he's trying to penetrate her through her clothes. Yeah, <laughs> he's like I was almost there, and y'all had to show up. Damn, y'all, y'all could have shot me, but <laughs> y'all could at least let me get let, a little let bit. Let me finish first. Yeah. <laughs> Give me that. But these movies, man, they, 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 they're all, all these elements are starting to blend together so much. And really, if you're not the higher tier of it, then you're just a generic brand. Because all these movies, at least the three that I've named or the four that I've named, they all have elements of the Hunger Games in there. Yeah. The Hunger Games itself, at least with that last movie. Now, I heard that the next one probably be, that, that'll, that'll be great. But that last one is even kind of like, man, it's, it's beginning to kind of feel dull a little bit. Well, yeah. And that's the thing. Because you have, it's what happened with. It happens with every genre that gets popular for a while. It's going to happen with superheroes. It's 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 uh it's inevitable because it happened with with westerns, happened with spy movies, happened with detectives. Yeah, everybody yeah. loves them. Can't get enough. Everybody and you know everybody's on it to the point that there's so many that it starts to get watered down and people just get fatigued. But you, here's and this <coughs> but this is happening really fast because these are so close to each other. But that's the thing. There's not enough variables here yeah. to distinguish these from each other, and they're coming out quickly one after another and here's the thing all of them have the same tone because they're following one movie all of these are depressing they're very somber they're dark and they hardly have any characters in there that have any human warmth to them i mean they i'm not saying i'm not saying that y'all have to have a funny sidekick you know no, I mean I'm not saying y'all gotta have Timon and Pumbaa in there, you know. What I'm <laughs> you know, although it would be nice, but you don't one character that would just come in and just kind of crack a joke to show that they're that they're human. It, it, yeah, you know, I thought about that too. I was like thinking about like you know what in the Hunger Games you got Woody Harrelson who comes in, you know, he's that drunk who don't give a damn yeah, and yeah, says things exactly. and makes you laugh and it, it like you know it eases it, it eases eases it. it, it Attention! It eases it up for you, <laughs> and it makes you, you know, it, it makes everything mean something. But when you get to this movie, it's all the same tone from beginning to end. It's all the same color from beginning to end. These characters, you don't really get to know them. 
if you care about him, wow, good luck. Yeah, ain't nothing to keep. I look, I feel for the struggle. <laughs> You know, but y'all got to wake up. <laughs> you know, because yeah. they everybody everybody's just going through the movie. I mean, no wonder y'all losing this fucking fight. Y'all too depressed to do anything. I mean, somebody, some. It's the bad thing is that you, sometimes you want to cheer. You want to cheer for the villain as much as you as much as you hate Jock Courtney. It's the villains who are the ones who are, you know, taking glee. And the shit that they do. <laughs> I know you hate John Courtney, but while everybody's just kind of wandering through this being all emo, at least John Courtney's like, yeah, fuck all y'all. I, I relish in what I do. Well, him and Miles Teller. Him and Miles Teller. John Courtney is just kind of like, you know what? Maybe I'll kill people. At least I enjoy doing something. The rest of you depressed motherfuckers in here. He's like, you know what? I, I enjoy it. Even when you got a gun to my head, I'm still going to talk shit because I'm... Because I'm having more fun than any of y'all are, are, are right now. Well, that's, that's true. I mean, he does make the most of the little bit he's given. You know what, man? Everybody makes the most of what they give. He, he, well, you know what? I'm going to show you a clip right here. Because okay. one thing I got to say, Martin was sitting up here hating John Courtney. And I was like, because I heard him, even when the movie was playing, Martin like, yeah, get that motherfucker. I like, <laughs> I like, Martin, cool out, man. He's Don't ask for him to die yet. He's actually the, the, the most lively guy in this. I know you hate him, but give him, just, just nah. give him a few more minutes, man. Nah. Jeannie's never going to stop searching for you. Why? What does she want with her? Tell me. Look, all I know is she's exactly what Jenny needs. She's the perfect subject. You're responsible for the death of hundreds of people. You know the punishment for that. Listen. I found a way to live with the blood on my hands. What can you? At this point, Martin was so mad, he was just like... Man, give me the fucking gun. I'll do it. <laughs> that is how I felt. I was like, why y'all letting him talk? <laughs> <laughs> because. Why are they letting him talk? Because he actually has some of the best dialogue in the movie. He might be an asshole, but you know what? He's an energetic asshole. At least he's got, at least he's got humanity to him, even if it's evil douchebag humanity. <laughs> you know? I'd rather take no humanity than that humanity. <laughs> I, now, I mean, you talk about like a good villain. Miles Teller was a good villain. You know what? Miles Teller was a good villain in this. And Miles Teller, the reason why he was a good villain. Now, he's sneaky. I'm looking at Jack Courtney. Jack Courtney, he is that. He's that frat guy that's just gonna talk shit. Like, ain't nothing funny. About I mean, he's it. he's he's pretty much a cardboard cutout too. Yeah. No, he's he, no, he's pretty much like fuck you. I'm bad. That's all. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. He's just bad because yeah. he's bad. Why am I bad? Because I'm just bad. So fuck off. Just let mm -hmm. me be me. <laughs> <laughs> you do you. <laughs> But Miles Teller is a little more fleshed out because, like I said, he has some humor to his ass, his assholeness, assholishness. Damn, people be like, I think you could at least say that word, Corey. <laughs> and he's that, got assholishness to spare. And he has he has bags of it. I mean, he's a guy that's going. You know that he's going to sell you out. But the thing that really rubs that wound right there of that knowledge that you know this guy can't be trusted. He's just. He knows ain't shit you can do about it. Uh -huh. And he's just going to talk shit. Man, is he talk he shit. Talk, he going to talk shit while he's in your house. You look a rainbow. Oh. It's pretty. <laughs> it's all happiness. Virtual pathological friendliness with unquestioned pacifism. I love this place. Thank you. Go with happiness. Oops, oops, excuse me. Hey, Tris, I really like your hair, by the way. Did you try to cut it all short and weird like yeah. that? Why don't you take your food and sit down, huh? Or what? <laughs> you, you know something? <laughs> I bet you wouldn't say that shit to J.K. Simmons. <laughs> yeah, get that shit. To you. What you say? Talk that shit again, bitch. Huh? Like you better, better than me? Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you again. <laughs> I can't take him being no tough guy after seeing his ass whooped by J.K. Simmons. All this bravado he got on right here. But that's the thing, man. I mean, he does stand out because I was like, wow. After all that goodwill he bought himself from Whiplash, I hated him ten minutes into this movie. I was like, no, you. Oh yeah, you talk that shit now. I hated him too, and this is where in that and in that scene, what they did was they uh they are forced to be fugitives together. I forgot why he I stuck know. with them. Yeah, that's the whole thing. I was like, <laughs> wait, why do y'all have him along? You know what he's like. And they bring they bring him into that faction. And he just walks in there, just fucking with everybody. And yeah, I hated that shit normally, but because he was human in this movie. I liked it a little bit better. He's one of my, and normally I, we'd always talk about Miles Teller. He's always that guy. And he was just starting to get out of it. Yeah. And really, I don't like to see him revert back to I it know, in this role. I know. But in this case, 
I'll make an exception. Well, man, the thing is, all through this movie, because I was thinking about this today, this movie, it, it's either one thing or the other. It's either, because I was like, wow, they've wasted a lot of really good talent. You know, Sh- Sh- Shailene Woodley, uh, uh, Kate Winslet, Miles oh, Teller. Miles Teller, yeah, yeah. yeah and, know, uh, and oh, what's you know, name? Uh, Octavia Spencer. Octavia Spencer, and who else is in this uh the, the oh 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 uh, Naomi Watts <laughs> Naomi Watts who looks hot with dark hair man she does she yeah. does but like you know th- these are major major talent actors who are just given the worst like not even not, I won't say the worst dialogue but dialogue is pretty flat the story is flat that everything they have to say it gives them no chance to really stretch themselves but the one thing I thought after that is like you know what had they not had actors of this caliber. This shit would have been really bad. Oh, it would have been a lot worse, man. It would have been it would have been horrible. We'd have been laughing through it. No one no one knows how it, it This is the tone of the story. This is the tone of the script. But because these characters don't emote, they look like bad stage actors. Yeah. You know. That's, I mean, it's it's not it, on the level of a it, George it, Lucas production, but it ain't good. No. No. I mean, it's it's that kind of shit where it's like Somebody shows anger like this. First, they just say it. That's my mother, and I'm mad at her. Junior, don't say it. Don't call me Junior! You know, I got to slam a table. Yeah. I'm emoting anger. You know, that's some, that's some basic 101 uh, community college type acting school shit going on right here. Yeah. It's like, wow, man. And I know it's not these actors. No. It is this, they think that they're setting up a tone for a movie that fits this uh this uh, uh, dystopian future right here, but no, it, you're just making them look like bad actors. I mean, a, a, another big problem with this with this movie, with this franchise, really, is that you can't really get to the bottom of what this is all about. I mean, with, with some of these, with even like the other movies we talk about being like the Hunger Games, there's, there, it's clearly defined what's going on. But here, you got this whole thing of like they've broken society into these factions. Why? Well. The founder said there's something behind the wall. Yeah. It's like, nobody's going to go check. You're going to do all this, but never check what's behind that wall. That, that, I was like, I, was like, well, I can't I, compute that. I, I got that because that was a way of controlling people, you know. But at some point, <laughs> even the faction list would, would have been the ones that say, well, fuck this, man. We got no faction. We might as well go out there. Now, see, you're making me defend this movie. Okay. Because you know, there are some things I understand. Like, the factionists were in hiding. They couldn't go out and be seen. To go out to, outside those walls would be to expose themselves. No, no, no. The factionists, <laughs> because they weren't to be killed. If you didn't have a faction, that, that, that meant you couldn't really be in society. You, you were like a bum. But if you tried to leave, even, even, even if you were like a bum, trying to leave those walls would get you. Man, my point is that <laughs> okay. there's so many other things. But, that, but, yeah, but there's, the, so many, there's so many things. It's like, like it doesn't hold weight. Like when you get to the bottom of it, you're like, this is all kind of silly because I, I don't see what's holding this together. I don't either. By the end of the movie, they had Sha- Charlene Woodley fighting herself. And I was like, what the fuck is happening here? Okay, did like, you, I don't even understand this shit. No, that's what I'm saying. Okay, all this here, her doing this, fighting herself. The whole premise of this particular movie is we get this girl who's divergent. Um, who somehow like divergent means two. She's she's got the power of all the factions, but I that I'm not gonna nitpick except I just did. But uh, <laughs> the whole idea is like we hook her up to the box, and then she can unlock all four sides, all five sides of it, and that'll give us the message. But to do this, they put her through this whole virtual reality, and it's just this feeling like y'all really didn't know what to do here. I, I don't yeah I don't understand this you. Shit. You had an After Effects package that you were hot to use. And just came up with special effects for no reason. I'm sure it's in the book, but somebody just said, you know what? We just need a little more action in here in the yeah. first movie. <laughs> hey, we got more money. We're going to show all kind of you know apocalyptic landscapes. And, oh, you know what? Shit, we got enough money now to make Charlene Woodley fight herself. Yeah. And it, none of it's inspired. I, I don't, like, I'm looking at this. I can't tell you why she's fighting herself. Other than they got the, the money to get to make a, a, a another computer-rated Charlene Woodley double. I don't know what the fuck is happening in, in, in this movie. And... Maybe it's because I don't really care. <laughs> to be honest with you, I'm not. You know, I'm not trying to talk bad about the movie, but I'll be honest with you. Maybe it does work. Maybe there's a good story here. But at some point, I was so bored. I'm just kind of like, well, fuck it. I don't really care. Yeah. I mean, I and you know, I try. I, I was sitting up there fighting sleep for the longest time. I mean, I'm. I was bored by this, and I was bored by this because I've seen this on its own. It's not even that great of a film, if you ask me. Right. But because I see this being done a lot better in other movies. I'm just kind of like, man, I've seen this already. And I'm going to give the movie credit. Look, the the effects that they put in here, they're good. 
and it needs it. This story needs to be peppered up with these special effects and the and uh, and these environments that we see here. And I and there, and there are certain parts of the movie where it actually is kind of suspenseful. There's scenes where Shailene Woodley has to like traverse around and, and parkour around these buildings that are crumbling in sort of this virtual reality environment. And I'm like, man, you know what? <clears throat> if this was in a better movie, this might be something really cool. See, something like that, I'm like, if that's happening for real, it's exciting. But within a virtual reality, it's like I'm watching her play a video game. But this, you know, it was, it was a virtual reality that could kill her. So I was like, that's kind of, to me, that was kind of cool. And you know what? I was rooting for the movie in certain parts. I mean, I'm even rooting for the movie in some of the, like the, the, the smallest, the, cause maybe because I was so bored, just like nonsense parts. Like when Ford, Theo James is running from that train. I mean, I was looking at him. I was like, yeah, do it. Get away. And I, was, I was like, yeah. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I wanted him to get hit too. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> I want to see his ass splatter on the front of that train right there. I didn't dislike him, but I wanted to see it too, just because it would throw a monkey wrench into the story that would suddenly make it not so predictable. Yeah. Because it'd be like, yeah. oh shit, well, what now? Oh but yeah. No, no, nah. no what now? <laughs> nah, people, I mean, I can go on and on about this. I don't want to tell you. This is, uh, like I said, if you've seen The Hunger Games, if you've, seen, if, if you've seen the better of this, The Hunger Games, if you've seen the lesser of this, The Giver, I mean... All around, you've seen this, whether it's for better or for worse. I don't even know that The Giver is lesser. I, it is. It is. The, I mean, it had a smaller budget. Giver was had a smaller budget. Giver was more boring. But whether you've seen this done in a pale version or a better version, you've seen it in. <clears throat> I, and I don't think there's any reason to see this at the theater. Now, it's going to just get people in there because of the people who read the books. And that's mainly who it's written for or who, 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 who this movie's made for. And if that's you, if you enjoy those books so much and you got to see this, what can I tell you to stop you? But for somebody who wants to go in and this is your first discovery of divergent and insurgent and regurgent and all that kind of <laughs> shit, you know, it's which is what, which is what the we next pretty one. much have here. <laughs> right. Should have been the first title. <laughs> this is not going to offer you anything that you haven't seen done better. Keep, stick to the Hunger Games. I say watch this on video, but even then, that's a that's a wait for it to come on television at somebody else's house. Damn. You know, I'm I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it a rip. I'm bored by this, man. I'm really bored by this. And if you're gonna rip off somebody, I'm not gonna say rip off. You're gonna if you're gonna write the coattails of uh, you know a, a genre, <laughs> fuck you. Uh, then you know, put a little more step up your game. Put a, put a, put a little more energy behind it. Yeah. Somebody half-assing their way through this. Pretty much. It, it, yeah, I, I agree with everything you're saying pretty much. I, I wasn't bored so much. I didn't feel sleepy. I didn't feel like checking out of it. But I was like watching it like, this is offering me nothing. It's kind of like when I go to movies and I smell popcorn and I get it and I eat it. And then afterwards, I'm like, I wish I hadn't done that. It's just a bunch of empty <laughs> calories and I feel kind of nauseous afterwards. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's a, it's a straight-up rental to me. I... I and also, if you are going to see this and you haven't seen the first one or it's been a long time since you watched the first one, watch it again because you won't know what's going on otherwise. Yeah. They, they really don't give you much hint as to what you missed. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean if you care. I don't, yeah, if you care. I mean, I wouldn't. I just, like I said, if, it, if you got to put that much work into something that ain't amounting to anything really. <laughs> That's you true. Got, you got something better to do. I mean, you know. <laughs> You doing research for a bullshit test afterwards, man. You know. <laughs> I love how it has the same ending as Maze Runner, even though Maze Runner came out first. Yeah, I didn't see Maze Runner, so and I'm curious to see Maze Runner. But you know what, Maze Runner looks like it has much more going on with, than, than this here. And I, I'll give you other couple of things here, man. Like I said, um, what what's her name? Blonde, usually blonde. Uh oh, Naomi Watts. Naomi Watts is gorgeous, man. Yeah. Every time she was on screen, at least she gave me something to look at. And that's something that don't work. She plays somebody's mother. I'm like, and I, and I know they said that she was a young mother, but I'm like, no, I ain't buying it. <laughs> She's supposed to be the mother of, the, of Theo James, four in the movie. And they look like, the, they, look like, they, like they should be fucking each other. I ain't buying this shit that she's that Because when, when she came up and she was blended in, I thought she was one of the kids. Yeah. I mean, well, I know she's not damn near 50, but she's still hot as hell, man. Well, you know, it's, a, a problem that keeps happening with these movies, and The Hunger Games is guilty of this, too, is that you have these main characters who are teenagers, like, you know, teenage girls who a teenager would mm -hmm. make mistakes, certain mistakes because they don't know. Yeah. But we have actresses who we know are older than that, and when they make these same mistakes and don't do things, you're going, how fucking stupid are you? Come on. Kate Winslet is terrible in this, by the way. 
I ain't gonna laugh. I mean, I ain't gonna lie to you. Kate I thought that was Madonna. Hey, and Kate Winslet, what big Madonna? <laughs> Kate Winslet, all she does is stand in front. It's the easiest fucking job she got, man. I'm gonna show you what Kate Winslet. It's hard for her to do that American accent through the whole thing. She does that all right, man. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> she does. She does a fine American accent. I'm gonna show you what Kate Winslet does in this movie. She does exactly what you see right here. Stand there. Kate Winslet stands there and looking at glass. And just kind of. She stands there and looks through a glass through the whole movie. And every now and then, she'll yell an order. She'll either be snot about it, go ahead and kill him. We don't need him anyway. Or she'll, do what I say! But most of the time, she's just looking. Like somebody at the fucking museum or something. Mm -hmm. Just standing there. Either this fucking paycheck. It's like she, she said, she I really don't want to do this. And I didn't know what I was signing, but. You got me for one day. Oh, she's looking right now like, God damn, they pulled me into a second one. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think we were actually make that second one. I thought that first was kind of shitty. I thought they would have <laughs> I thought they would have stopped by now. <laughs> she don't want to be there. She does not. She's like this, wow. I'm a I'm a theater trained actress. And I'm just standing here with my arms behind my back looking at a glass. This is the extent of my acting expertise in this movie right here. I'll be goddamn. Did you notice like how the movie takes place over the course of some days, if not weeks, but she's always wearing the same clothes? Well, it's the apocalypse, man. Come on, you know. She, <laughs> no. She only got back. That's it, because she, she, she shot for, the, for one day. <laughs> All her scenes got shot in one day, and she didn't, she didn't do any costume changes. <laughs> she she might have shot some extra scenes for the next six <laughs> movies. Who knows, man? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, all I know, that might be a CG Kate Winslet. Who right? fucking knows? <laughs> might as well be. Might as well be. Shit, don't even spend money on CG. Just get a cardboard cutout. Put that shit right there. <laughs> That's all she does. Just make that mouth go up and down a little bit. <laughs> get her. <laughs> Man, the other thing in this, I'm looking at uh, some people who are very good in this, like Martin said, but don't have much to do. And you can see her actually, somebody who's acting. And she's the exception. Someone who's acting in that sort of a somber tone, but actually is putting some weight behind it, is Octavia Spencer, man. Yeah. She's really good. Is Octavia Spencer the new black woman of the apocalypse? That seemed that way, right? I mean, she's beginning to be in a she's beginning to be the only black woman that survives the apocalypse. Uh -huh. You remember Snowpiercer? Snowpiercer, yep. Well, she had her Oprah Winfrey from the color purple thing going on right there. <laughs> God right? damn, this apocalypse whooped my ass. <laughs> Even though it's they, they, you want a big old black woman in the, in the post-apocalyptic future because she looked like, yeah, I'm ready to whoop somebody's right. ass right now. It, 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 I'm going to see a trend right here. And she looks positive about it, too. Look at her. Shit, Shit. You, you know I'm surviving the apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, you better not have no food around me. I'm eating everything. <laughs> I'm take care of my people. Yeah. Shit, I take care of my babies. <laughs> if I don't eat them first Man that's, that's a great shot right there Shit. And she don't even act like that in the movie But right here she's like, like shit fuck a faction <laughs> I'm part of the fuck you faction <laughs> Fuck out of my face <laughs> Y'all white people got to go Yeah <laughs> she, Even the post apocalyptic future White people crazy <laughs> Don't come up here with that craziness Alright <laughs> Man this is some boring shit right here This movie Yeah yeah. It's too bad because they had the like this was their chance to turn things around. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they did turn around. Right? Went right back to bullshitville. <laughs> Shit. Let me out. <laughs> yeah. You were actually going somewhere kind of cool. <laughs> oh man! Uh, but you well, know, you know what? They, they they gonna make another one, so we'll we'll see then. That's that's when it all I makes sense. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Maybe then. Maybe I'll learn something by then. And then you're not because this movie's going to make about $50 million this weekend. I guarantee you. Yeah. I guarantee you. Well, Nobody what's this competition, really? <laughs> uh, yeah, mm. see, exactly. Yeah. Hmm. Sean Penn <laughs> with muscles? No. I'm <laughs> 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 trying to see that shit. <laughs> oh, but I can uh, tell you one thing, man. It is never a dull moment here because we have Martin gets the gold star. You know how that's played right yeah. here. Yeah, we'll see. Martin plays the game where he has to answer five pieces of trivia. And if he only gets three of them correct, that means that he wins for you. He's won the game, but you get the prize. Hey, you know, this is not the apocalypse here, man. We are fruitful here. We have plenty to spare. What's our, what would the sorting hat put us at? Which, what's our faction? Our, what's our faction? Our, our house, our district. What's our district? Yeah, you gonna want to kick me out that faction or district, our house. Once you see these questions, this is a hard one right uh -oh. here. This is a hard one. Is it? Yes, right. it is. Okay, 
It is not very easy at all because because uh, you're mad from that movie. You know what? And this is another thing in the movie, man. I got to say this, and I forgot to mention this uh, to you folks out there because I want to give credit where credit is due. But in this film right here, and let me see if I can find him. See if I can find a picture of my man because I enjoyed him so much. And in this, I thought it was just wasted talent. Give me a second here, people, because you know who I'm talking about, right, Martin? You don't mean Miles Teller? No, I do not mean Miles Teller. Let me see. It's uh, the kid who sounds like he should be a, a villain in a Nazi movie, Ansel Elgort. Oh, a- Ansel Elgort. <laughs> Ansel Elgort. L- boy had me crying. Boy had me crying in The Fault of Our Stars. Oh, when he was dating Shailene Woodley. When he was shading. When he was shading. When he was, when he was, when he was shitting on Shailene Woodley. No, when he was shanking Shailene Woodley. No, when he was dating Shailene Woodley. Had me crying. You remember the movie where he had cancer? And if you saw it, he, was, he had charisma. And he was brave. And he also, when he, when he broke down, he was so sympathetic. Had me, had tears coming out of my eyes, man. Bitch. Had tears come my eyes in this movie too, but from boredom. From, <laughs> I was bored with this fucking I movie. I actually man. liked his character in this, because he was in that Miles Teller zone where it's like, why are y'all fucking around with him? Why are you trusting him? This guy he I, is sniveling. I hated this guy. It's he plays uh he plays uh uh Charlene Woodley's brother in the movie and he's just fucking useless. He is. I mean, I don't even know. They spent half the movie having him run and having them pull him out of things and pull him pulling him out of danger and he's just for what? Just to say, just to straight up tell them, I ain't worth shit. Yeah. He pretty much tells them, man, you know what? I'm letting y'all know right now. I'm going to sell y'all out because yeah. <laughs> I'm a fucking coward. <laughs> One of the things that's, that is, uh, that's notable about him is that they play, Charlene Woodley and this actor right here, they play brother and sister uh-huh. in this film. Right. I just mentioned The Fault in Our Stars. They play lovers, lovers in that movie. Cancer love. Give me that cancer love. <laughs> <laughs> and so that brings us to our game here, Martin. Oh. Now... This is not an uncommon thing for people to play brother and sister in one movie and then to play, to, to play lovers really? in another film. Really? It's a very common thing. Oh. Uh, see, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I don't you see don't this even common notice. at all. You don't notice when you see it, but it's all around, man. Okay. So I'm going to bring up two actors, one actor and one actress, and you're going to have to tell me the movie where they played brother and sister. And also the movie. Oh, come on. Where they play lovers. That's two answers. That's just the way it is. Today. I should only have to get one and a half right. You know what? If it proves too hard midway through, I'll reconsider. All right. But Martin, you always say that. Look, Martin, I'm, you know what? That's respect to you. Because I, I think highly enough of you to know that you could probably get this. Oh boy. Now, in order to play this game, we need a contestant. Now, I just told Martin how this is going to be done. I know that we had some people that wanted to play the game earlier. And I think since some people came in, let me see here. So one, some people already came in and asked earlier if they could play the game. I think I'm going to pull one of those people in. All right. That early bird special going on. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Uh, pull up the Gamels. And let me see. Hmm. Somebody said it's my first game. Hmm. Okay. And that would be cool if you actually gave me your phone number. <laughs> wah, wah. Well, you you don't need to play this game. You don't. Even, you can't even get past the phone number part of it. <laughs> I want to play a game. Call me at nothing. <laughs> let me see. Here. You sure it's not in the subject line? Oh, uh, let me see. I'll see. Uh, I'll go for this guy. I'm gonna go for the next one up. Go for the next one up right here. Cause we got a I, we got an email from a guy who said like, "Hey, well, I'm gonna be in town. Will these dates work for you?" And I'm looking at his email. I'm like, "What, what dates?" <laughs> and then I saw, oh, he put him in the subject line. Okay, all right. I'm gonna go for Dale right here. He said it was be his first time <clears throat> buying a review stream. So, all right, you know what? All right, that sounds great, man. Let's go ahead and have you. Join the game right here. <clears throat> this money. Yeah, see, so we can get your money back for this month that you pay. Look, you might be getting a free month of service here from Double Toasted. Our gift to you. Hello, Dale. Oh, Dale. <laughs> What's 
What's up, man? Yeah, How you doing? Man. What's up, man? Yeah. I can't. I can't tell if you a black or if you a hillbilly, right? <laughs> What's up, man? Yeah, I'm black. You yeah, black? I'm okay, black. all right. Okay, yeah, you can hear it now. Black and don't yeah. give a fuck. Yeah, I'm black, man. <laughs> you know, <laughs> fuck you, <boy>. shit. <laughs> Dale, how you doing, man? I'm all right. Just sitting here watching the stream and everything. I hope you're having fun watching it, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm finally off work enough that you watch it, so yeah. All right, look at that. See, if we had done the show late last night, Dale, he wouldn't have been able to play the game and or watch the show. That wouldn't be right. That wouldn't be right. Dale, we uh, dedicate this show to you, man. This is why we did it today for you. Look at that. Came here getting special treatment and everything. Don't ever say we ain't done a goddamn thing for you, Dale. Yeah, except we're about to lose him, whatever this money is. We don't know that yet, Martin. We don't know that yet. Now, hey. Dale already told Martin how this game is played. So all we have to do is just jump right in and play. So I'm going to bring up my first couple right here, Martin. Let all me right. get my music ready. Get that losing sound. I mean, that winning sound ready yeah, for you. Right? <laughs> you might as well disable that one. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Martin. Well, we just give you the first one's going to be wrong right there. Let's go ahead and get to the second one save some time. No, we'll go ahead and do this right. Martin. Yes. Here is our first couple right here. Martin, I have Elizabeth Olsen and Aaron Taylor Johnson. See, look at you. You're already right, man. Right, you know what right. this is. This one I can you got this one. Can you guess the celebrity couple? They play the brother and sister in one movie, and they're playing lovers in another movie. The couple is Aaron, uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson and Elizabeth Olsen. I'm sure some of you know that. Darren, what about you, man? Do you know what this is? <laughs> nah, not a clue, man. Not a clue. And, uh, you, Dale. You also know me as Dale. Dale. I'm sorry. What I call you? Darren. I'm sorry. D Dale. <laughs> Dale. Yeah. Shit, well, I lost that game, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> they give you some. I uh, know. Let me get myself. Let me. Uh, wrong, Corey. You disrespectful son of a bitch. Martin, let's go ahead and see hey, what man, you get. You called me off that corner before, so you been disrespectful to me before. What, what's that? What do you say? You called me Yafet Koto before. You call so. him Yafet. We call him Yafet Koto. Oh, I call you Yafet Koto. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Oh, that's man. Oh, man, this is Dale from Dallas. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, man, how's it going? Yeah. Big old Dale. Yeah. Man. <laughs> shit, I, don't, I must yeah. have been drunk when I was talking shit to you because you. Man, you look like Yafet Cole. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> you ain't shit. You think you big and better than me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, just. See, see two little shoes running out of there? All right, Martin, what's your answer? My answer. Godzilla and what was the other one there? Age of Ultron. Martin, you are. Ooh, I'm sorry, Martin, you are a winner. All right. Oh, uh, uh, would I say Dell is a winner? <laughs> Look at that. See, Martin, I told you, right, you got right, this. All right, all right. Yeah, I knew I could get that one. I figured there'd be one in the mix I could get. Martin. If only you can start believing in yourself like I do, man. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Okay, Lena Horn. <laughs> <laughs> I believe Martin is the future. <laughs> <laughs> Play a game, watch it go to hell. Which it might, man. <laughs> I got one. I feel good. <laughs> it might, man. You know the first one. I'll put those easy ones on I know, first. I know. But you know what I said there yesterday, oh. and you did a clean sweep. True. So I, I, I believe in you, man. I, I think you can do this. Let's go to our second question right here. Okay. Our second couple. Second set of couples. Martin, Sarah Michelle Geller and Ryan Philippe. Sarah Michelle Geller and Ryan Philippe. Philippe. You know, you're thinking of something. You got, bet you got one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm not going to fuck you. This game might, though. You might fuck Dell if you don't get this. Uh, Come on, man. Dell, I'm sorry, man. I I know what the movie is based on. I can't remember the name of the. Just write something down. It might come to you. Ah uh, hell, man. If you can draw a picture of it, I might take that. <laughs> <laughs> Dell, do you have any idea? No, uh, not a clue, man. I, I know. know those two people are. Sarah, who is and Ryan the Philip? No, I know. I know it's Sarah Michelle Gellar, but not the other one. Oh, Martin, looks like you don't have it. What do you have, Martin? No, I wrote Dangerous Liaisons, which is what the movie is based on, and I can't remember the title of it. Oh, you didn't get the other one right there. Martin, the two movies that I'm thinking of are I Know What You Did Last Summer and... Oh. And, uh, shit, I can't remember the other no. name. <laughs> <laughs> I think I get that wow. by default. <laughs> I forgot what that other one is, too. 
God damn it was I had it, man. I don't have it. God damn it. But you don't have this written down somewhere? <laughs> Fuck no. That's some shit. Yeah, <laughs> it is. <laughs> Wait a minute, I might have it written down. No, down. no, don't go to IMDb. Uh, no. <laughs> hey, man, I ain't the hey one playing the game. We trying to play a game here. Don't be, don't be checking your phone or the, or the internet. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Uh -huh. Man, it'll come to me yeah, any minute uh -huh. now. <laughs> Let me see. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Uh -huh. <laughs> Chat. Well, cruel Intentions. Oh, boy. Boy, it just came to me nah, just like that. Cruel Intentions, man. Uh, the chat knew. Wow. Th thank you, chat, for that. I mm. appreciate that so much. That should be a given, man. That should be, that should be a given, man. Yeah, I know. No, I'm that not the one be being challenged. I'm not the one being challenged. It's Martin. <laughs> anyway, Martin, it's okay. Look at them. Really, Corey? Now, come on, man. Don't be a fucking villain, man. Come on. <laughs> you had somebody say, one job, Corey? <laughs> Ah, all right. Okay. You know what? Well, Martin, here's the thing, though. I would have pity on you, but you have, you still have the three more, three more chances, man. I think you'll get it. All you right. Know? You always get to that point all right. where, you know, you, it looks like things are dark and they're not going to work, but I believe in you. You're going to do well. And with this one, you know these people, man. Let me pull this up. This should be fresh on your mind, too, Martin. Okay. You like these people. I'm talking about, let me bring my music up right here. I am talking about, Martin. Christian Wig and Bill Hader. In what movies were they brother and sister and lovers? Christian Wig and Bill Hader, both of them, of course, being Saturday Night Live alumni. Martin, I know you got one. I got one. Ah, Martin. Dale, what, what the fuck am I asking you for, Dale? You don't know. <laughs> nope. No. I mean, I know who they are, but man, nah. All for me. Martin's thinking. Mm. Told you, Martin. It's not an easy game. Mm. You're always saying I'm too easy with you. This is where I tried to give you a challenge and look like the challenge is too hard today. Oh. Man, wrong day to have Martin playing a game for you, it looks like. Uh, Martin, man. the two movies I'm thinking. I knew this was going to happen, though. <laughs> yeah, you know what Martin gave me? The Skeleton yeah, Crew? Yeah, no, yesterday was too easy. That's what it was. Yesterday, it was so. That was too easy. You had to make it hard today, huh? I know. You never know. And Martin held up his board and he said, Skeleton Twins and Hot Rod. And Martin, again, that is wrong. The answer is Skeleton Twins and Adventureland. Adventureland. Damn it. Yes. Awesome. And you can see a picture of that. Yeah. You didn't see that movie. Jesus. Hey, you know what? Martin saw it. I saw it. Yeah. I saw it. So yeah. I kept, I kept, I kept. I had those images in my head and just could not connect. Can focus in on that one. Yeah. All right, Martin. I thought you would have got that one. I got that one. I just pulled that one out of my ass, man. All right, Martin. Let me go ahead and move over here to the next one. Okay. Oh, let's see if it gets a little easier here, Martin. It might. It might. I'm mm. feeling. I'm feeling bad for you now. Let me. Let me go ahead and shuffle these around mm, a little bit. Mm, mm, mm. See what I can do for you right here. Okay. Let me pull back a little bit. All on right. The difficulty. All right, Martin. Oh, you're not. You down to the point where we got to get. I know. You have to get. I know the next two. The next two. <clears throat> All right. And let's see here. The next two, Martin, are Tony Collette. And Steve Carell, Tony Collette, and Steve Carell, and I know you've seen both these movies, Martin, and they're well-known movies. Tony Collette and Steve Carell, they were lovers in one movie, and they were brother and sister in another. Ah, it's very common, but yet so hidden, how these roles are played. Oh, Dale, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Ah, Dale, I'm sorry, man. Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> I don't even know either one of those. You don't even know either one of those. Oh, Martin, you're going to kick yourself when I give you this. I feel I bad for you. What's All up? right, Martin. Oh, Martin, I'm sorry. I got to give you a buzz. You did not attempt to write anything down at all. The two movies are Little Miss Sunshine, Brother and Sister. All right, right. And Aww. then... Uh, what was that movie? Uh, the way way back. The way way back. I know you 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 were telling me it. about that movie. Yeah. You saying Steve Carell plays an yeah. asshole in that yeah. movie. He stands out. Yeah. Yeah. Damn there it. you go. They're husband and wife in that movie. Uh. Oh, sorry, Martin. Sorry. Oh, let's see. We are down to our last one. We're down to our last one now. Here's where we can actually. This is where I like to mix things up. You don't win if Martin 
if 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 you were going by Martin, Martin has lost. Um, yeah, Martin has no more to do for you. He got all. He got he got him wrong. There's no chance of him getting three right at all. But you know something, Dale? Here's what I'll do for you, man. Let's do a lifeline. Let's have somebody call up. Yeah, let's have a brave person call up. Let's have somebody right now say, "I want to be Dell's lifeline." And if they're brave enough to come in and try to get this last answer for you, if they think they know their shit, if they're looking around and trying to get answers, you might be able to redeem yourself from this game. If somebody want to come in and help your boy Dell out, I'm down with that. And I have to get this person on Skype. That's the only thing. I don't know if I can make two calls. Right now on Gmails. Plus, we have to be able to make sure that they aren't checking the internet. Yes, yes, that's true. That is true. Yeah, I have yeah. to see their face. So, if somebody wants to Skype me, we can probably go ahead and give you a lifeline here. Now, this is the first time I've done this, so if this is going to take a while, I'll probably just uh, I'll find another way around this and we'll move on. But I want to see if somebody wants to come in and actually be Dell's lifeline. Anybody want to play? <laughs> Somebody said, "Fuck this! I wouldn't know this shit." <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not sure I call it, but I I'm looking at Eugene. Eugene. Game, it's that hard. <laughs> Eugene is like, "Damn, no, no, fuck that, man! I'm not coming in here and doing that." Anybody want to play? Anybody brave enough? Man. <laughs> I guess not. I'm trying to give somebody a chance, and it looked like it may take a while anyway. I, Some, I should have had my girlfriend call in. That's why I should have, had, uh, should have had her call her phone. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I'll even call them on my phone. If somebody wants to give me their number, we don't even have to go through Skype. I'll just call them on my phone so we can get right to it. So I'm waiting for somebody to give me their uh, email address and, you know what, or their, uh, their contact. And so it looks like that's not happening, man. I don't think that's going to happen. Damn, damn. Shady ah. Baby. Oh, you know what? Shady Baby said he'll do it. Okay. All right. All right. We'll go ahead and see if we can get uh, Shady to come in and do this. He can do it. If anybody can do it. If anybody can, can he can. All right. Let me type in Shady. There he is right now. Let me call him up. You just might be able to pull yourself out of this. Redeem yourself, if you will. Shady. Lolo. Yeah. Hey, my friend. Hey. 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 hey, Shady. Okay. Shady. Hey, yes, sir. Dale is down to the last question. Martin missed enough to where he cannot pull out of this. Mm-hmm. I can't allow him to continue to play. Otherwise, I wouldn't be fair. So you're the lifeline for Dale right now. Now, Shady, I have to keep in yeah. mind that you are honest here and that you're not checking the your, your email or anything like that for answers. You're not Googling anything. So what I need for you to do is look at me with your hands up okay. and not move anything so that I can actually give you this last one and see what you think, okay? All right, this is a black man asking a white man to hold their hands up. This is funny. (laughs) For a change, yes. I actually feel very good about this. Tell you that guy is funny. Look at him. (laughs) Now, if I can shoot your ass, it'll be even. (laughs) (laughs) This is a white savior. (laughs) All right. Here is our last one, Shady. And I need you for you. I'm looking at you. Your hands need to be up. And Shady, I'm going to bring it up. And I can see you in the corner right here. So hands up, Shady. Shady. I'm looking for Emma Thompson and Hugh Grant. What movies have Emma Thompson and Hugh Grant been in one film, Lovers, and in the other film, Brother and Sister? Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Uh, Not so easy, uh, is it? Yeah, look at Shady. Shady's like, I do it. I know, I know. Fuck fuck Martin with his dumb ass. Oh, gosh. Uh, Hugh Grant, Emma Thompson. Hugh Grant, Emma Thompson. Who they been in? Oh boy! Uh, this is uh, a hard one. I uh, do 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 do. Is it like uh, animated movies? They count. You know, I'll give you this. No. Okay. Blurt yeah. something out. Anything? Uh, Mickey Blue Eyes. Okay, wrong. All right, all right, all right, wrong. <laughs> you get all right to that. You I got to figure one of them is Love Actually, right? You know what, Martin? You were right about that. One of them is love. Actually, the other is sense and sensibilities. Of course. Oh, oh. Course. oh. one of the few movies I've never seen. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. You can put your wow. hands down now. 
<laughs> All right. Well, I, you know what? I had fun. I saved some money tonight. <laughs> and me, worked out well for you. Worked out well for me. And you know what? This is, the first, this is the first time I did this whole thing of bringing in other people to play. I like this lifeline thing. I like having a party with these. This is fun. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. Dale is always great talking to you. It is. Shady's it, always it, great talking Shady to baby, you. Shady baby, you too. Thank you, sir. Stay uh, shady. I'm not going to fight you. Of course you're not. You're going to fight you.